Good morning, and welcome to St. Andrew the Apostle Roman Catholic Church. Please stand. Today, we celebrate the fifth Sunday of Easter. Father Brezhnehan is our celebrant for this Mass, which is being offered for the intentions of Bethany Rogers. O oh, sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders in the sight of the nations. He has shown his deliverance. Alleluia. We join to sing the entrance procession from the St. Michael hymnal, number 482. Come down, O love divine, number 482.
nomine Patri et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Gratia Domini Nostri, Jesu Christi, et Caritas Dei, et Communicatio Sancti Spiritus, sit cum omnibus vobis. Et cum Spiritu Tua. Fratres, agnoscamos peccata nostra, udaptissimus ad sacra misteria celebranda. Confitior, Deo Omnipotenti, et vobis fratres, quia peccavi nimis, cogitatione verbo opere et omissione. Mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa, ideo precor beatam riam semper virginem, omnes angelos et sanctos, et vos fratres, orare pro me ad dominum Deum nostrum. Miseriatur nostri omnipotens Deus, et dimisis peccatis nostris, perdi, perducat nos ad vitam eternam. Amen. Chelsea's day, oh, and in terra pax hominibus, bone voluntatis, laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te. Ratias angibus tibi, propter maniam gloriam tuam. Domine Deus, rex celestis, Deus pater omnipotens, Domine fidi unigenite, Jesus Christ, Domine Deus on this day, Filius Patris, we told his peccatabu, Miserere Nobis, we turn this peck at a booty. So she paid a precati on a no strap. We said as a dexter of patries. We said a red nobis. 
Waking up to sound of silences To sound of who's down the hills To sound of sound of his Yes, he's dead Come Santa, oh Spiritus In Gloria Dei Oremus. Omnipotent Sempiterne Deus, semper in nobis pascale perfice sacramentum, ut quos sacro baptismate dignatus es renovare, sub tue protectionis auxilio multos fructus afferant, et ad, et ad eterne vitae gaudia pervenire contedas. Per dominum nostrum Jesum Christum filium tuum, qui tecum viver et regnat in unitate spiritus sancti, Deus per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Saul arrived in Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, but they were all afraid of him, not believing that he was a disciple. Then Barnabas took charge of him and brought him in the apost into the apostles. And he reported to them how he had seen the Lord and that he had spoken to him and how in Damascus he had spoken out boldly in the name of Jesus. He moved about freely with them in Jerusalem and spoke out boldly in the name of the Lord. He also spoke and debated with the Hellenists, but they tried to kill him. And when the brothers learned of this, they took him down to Caesarea and sent him on his way to Tarsus. The church throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria was at peace. It was being built up and walked in the fear of the Lord. And with the consolation of the Holy Spirit, it grew in numbers. The word of the Lord. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. I will fulfill my vows before those who fear the Lord. The lowly shall eat their fill. They who seek the Lord shall praise him. May your hearts live forever. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of the people. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. All the families of the nations shall bow down before him. I praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. To him alone shall bow down all who sleep in the earth. Before him shall bend all who go down into the dust. And to him my soul shall live. My descendants shall serve him. Let the coming generation be told of the Lord, that they may proclaim to a people yet to be born, the justice he has shown.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, let us love, not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Now this is how we shall know that we belong to the truth and reassure our hearts before him in whatever our hearts condemn. For God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, We have confidence in God and receive from him whatever we ask because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. And his commandment is this. We should believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he commanded us. Those who keep his commandments remain in him and he in them. And the way we know that he remains in us is from the spirit he gave us, the word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire and they will be burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. I remember being young once, and uh, I remember hearing passages like this in the scriptures, this, if you uh, remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. Amazing. 
whatever I want. And as a young kid with a lot of imagination, I mean, that could be anything. Man, God wants to give me all of the things. And it's amazing to think that there are a lot of people in this world who believe that. There are a lot of people in this world who believe that um, we can ask our Lord for whatever we want according to our own will, and that that's exactly what we get. And there is a large amount of disappointment for the number of folks who ask for something and it's not good for them. It doesn't help them. It doesn't lead them to eternal life. And uh, there is a, a disappointment when we're like, but I asked God for the thing and I didn't get the thing. And the answer, of course, is that our Lord always answers our prayers, right? He says, yes. He says, no. And sometimes he says, wait, I've got something better. And that is uh, certainly a very um, overly positive way of looking at it. But the reality, of course, is, is that oftentimes when we ask for something, um, we have not first looked at this, the, the sentence that was right in front of it. If you remain in me and my words remain in you. If you remain in me and my words remain in you. Because our Lord is pointing to something much deeper. And it's pretty reflective of what we see in the world. And when I say in the world, I mean, when we look in the secular world, we see where this falls short, but also in a different way, the same thing happens even within, uh, even within the community of believers. And that is that we have trouble conforming our will to the will of God. First, when we look at the secular world, we see it. How many times have you heard, well, I'll become Catholic or I'll follow the church when the church comes around to my way of thinking, when the church does what I think they should do? And we see the pride. The pride is self-evident. The pride comes in because it's this idea that the church needs to change because the church and Jesus Christ need to listen to what I've been trying to say. And I get part of it because we do in our world desire to be seen and to be heard, right? To be loved and to love. And we confuse the idea of Jesus Christ not doing what we want him to do with this idea that he's therefore not listening. And that is the secular view. And it's dangerous. It's dangerous because it puts us ahead of God. It, pl it places us in a position of pride, and it's dangerous. Until the church comes around in my way of thinking, I won't follow the church. But the Lord doesn't say that about asking for whatever you want, it will, it will be done for you. The first step is if you remain in me and my words remain in you. It is our Lord who is the source and the summit of everything. This is the Lord that is the source of our eternal happiness. My dear friends, if we are looking for authentic and perfect and perpetual happiness, the real happiness that lasts forever, the real joy that comes from the actual authentic knowledge of ourselves, not just an image or some sort of identity crisis we might have, it's going to come first from Jesus Christ. If our Lord is the author of life, then the one who knows us best is the one who has created us. And therefore, the one who knows our happiness and knows what it is we ought to ask for. Therefore, being rooted in him means being rooted and knowing what it is to ask for because we know what will make us authentically happy. And so it's not about conforming to, it's not about him conforming to our will, but rather in humility, conforming to his will turning to him. Our Lord asks us, he asks us to remain in him and let his words remain in us. He even says to us, those of us who are, right? Those of us who are on board, if it, as it were, he takes away the branches that don't bear fruit and prunes the ones that do so that they bear more fruit. There is an image, therefore, in the sacrificial nature of following Christ, of sacrificing our thoughts, our, our minds, our will on the altar of salvation and giving ourselves to him. And it belies the other struggle that we have. Oftentimes, 
Oftentimes, when we uh, are beset by persecution and when we're beset by things that don't, um, where, like, when we look out at the world and we're like, ah, man, I wish X would happen or I wish Y would happen. I wish this thing would, would happen and then everybody would get it. We get frustrated. We get angry because we're persecuted. But when we look at the image of the early church, we don't see an anger. We don't see a bitterness because things don't go the way that we would like. Rather, we see a, the strangest of things. We see a joy. We see peace of all the things that we could imagine. They rejoice because they were counted worthy to suffer with Christ. The church, after seeing, you know, after even being afraid of Saul and not wanting, not believing that he was a disciple, even still, when the brothers learned, etc., it says the church throughout all of Judea, despite the persecution, despite the rebellion, despite all of the things that were happening in the face of the church, even the internal conflicts that were happening on behalf of where Paul is, like where Paul is debating with the Hellenists and people are trying to kill him, and all this is happening. The church throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria was at peace, and it was being built up. And with the consolation of the Holy Spirit, it grew in number. Despite the persecution, despite the struggle, despite the opposition, it was still being built up. It was still being fruitful. I think sometimes we see the struggles that are happening in the church and we are afraid. It is okay, I think, sometimes to be justifiably afraid uh, and understanding, but it also ought to be a case not so much of fear into despair, but rather fear into trust. Fear into an abandonment to, to, to Jesus Christ, to realize that the Lord is pruning, that the Lord is pruning his vineyard, and that pruning ought to result, that pruning ought to result in, a, uh, in, in more fruit. And so it's a great opportunity for you and I to take a look and ask ourselves, how are we responding to the difficulties that are presented in, in, uh, in, in the way that we practice our faith in the world? Do we rejoice that we are counted worthy of suffering with Christ? Do we unite what it is that we are struggling with to him? Or do we allow the persecutions, the opposition in the world, do we allow that to create a bitterness in our life? Do we allow that to create a resentment in our hearts and anger and opposition? Do we become part of the problem? Our Lord reminds us that of all of it, he asks us to remain rooted in him, not in our own righteousness, but in his. I am the vine, you are the branches. We are being pruned and pruning doesn't feel good. Nobody wakes up in the morning and says, I know what I want to have. I know what kinds of feelings I want to have today. <laughs> I think I set a shears and yeah, that'll be fun. It'll be fun, they said. No, but in the middle of that, there is a fruit. And I think our Lord asks us and challenges us to be with him to bear that fruit. Well, today we have a great opportunity for joy in the church because we have some little ones today who will be receiving our Lord, body, blood, soul, and divinity for the first time in the Holy Eucharist. It is a time of great joy. And so for those little ones who are about to receive it, uh, who are about to receive him, I encourage you. This is a moment of great joy and celebration. It's wonderful to be able to be with your family, to be with your friends, and most especially to be with Jesus. Would that we all took a moment to be able to celebrate and share that joy in these little ones receiving Jesus for the first time, but also to remind ourselves we get to receive Jesus as well for the second time, the third time, the fourth time, maybe many times. May we never lose sight of the joy of our first communion in the experience of receiving the great gift of our Lord in every communion that we receive, in every opportunity to share in the gift that our Lord has for us. It is in the spirit of that joy and the regular and worthy reception of Holy Communion that brings us into Christ the vine and allows us to be more deeply rooted, more intimately rooted in, the, in Christ himself as his branches.
It is the Eucharist that sustains us in the middle of whatever persecutions and difficulties we may have. And it is the Eucharist that plants that seed in our heart that begins the fruitfulness of a life outside, a life where we know Christ intimately in the, in the, in the Eucharist and then share it with the people that we encounter. How do you and I allow the joy that we experience in this moment to permeate every fiber of our life, to encourage us to deeper and more meaningful prayer, to encourage us to spend some time with him in the sacrament of the Eucharist in adoration, to return to him with authentic contrition in the sacrament of confession, to, uh, to enjoy fruitfulness, but also fruitfulness and joy in the sacrament of marriage and the joys that we offer one another in that self-sacrifice and gift to one another and in the context of our families. We are fruitful in the way that we allow the Lord to permeate every fiber of our life. Let us not be people who become embittered at the fearfulness that exists in the world, but rather strengthened and confirmed by the Lord who gives us his very self and asks us to remain with him. In a spirit of humility, in a spirit of humility, we conform our will and our life to the life of Jesus Christ and to the will of Jesus Christ. And connected in that moment, connected in that place, connected to that person, of course, whatever we ask for, he will give us. Because in that, because in that conformity, our desire will be to glorify the Lord, to serve him, and to ask him to strengthen us for whatever it is we need to bear fruit. And so therefore, by this is my father glorified, that we bear much fruit and become his disciples. My dear little ones, as you receive the Eucharist for the first time today, may you also bear much fruit and be his disciples. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Credo in unum Deum, Patrem omnipotentem, Patelia Tere, Visibilium omnium, Ed in visibilium, Ed in unum Dominum, Jesum Christum. Filium Dei Unigenitum, et ex Patre Natum, ante omnia secula, Deum de Deo, Lumen de Lumine, Deum Verum, te Deo Verum, Genitum non factum, Unsubstantia lem patri, per quem omnia facta sunt, qui propter nos homines, et propter nostrum salutem, descendit ehe celis, et incarnatus est, de spiritus sancto, Ex Maria Virginia, et homo factus est, crucifixus et siam pro nobis, sub pancia pilato, passus et sepultus est, et resurrexit et sia die, Secundum Scripturas, et ascendit in celu, sedet ad exteram patris, en iterum venturus est cum gloria, 
Judicare vivos et mortuos, cuius redi non erit fidis. Et spiritu sanctu, domidu, et vivificata, qui ex patre filio que procedit, qui cum patre et filio, Simul adoratur, et con glorificatur, qui locutus des per profetas, et unam sanctam catholicam, et apostolicam ecclesiam, confiteorum baptisma, in remissionem peccatorum, et expecto resurrectionem mortuorum, et vitam venturi seculi. Ah, 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 ah. With confidence in our Lord's love for us, let us turn to him with our prayers of petition. For Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, that they will faithfully remain in Christ and bear much fruit for the church, we pray to the Lord. For our leaders and ourselves, that we may grow in humility and be fit instruments of God's grace, we pray to the Lord. Lord. For the safety and welfare of all first responders, especially the military and law enforcement, and all who stand in harm's way to protect and defend the lives of others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, For all children who are receiving their first Holy Communion this weekend, that the gift of the Holy Eucharist will draw them into an an unending friendship with the Lord, we pray to the Lord. Lord, For the grace to joyfully love others in deed and truth, especially those who are marginalized or lonely, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick and suffering in body, mind, or in spirit, and for all who have died, especially Katharina Soul Cruz, Ann Tankersley Thomas, Catherine Bilski and Leo Sanchi, that they may rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Good and gracious God, you have taught us to ask, to seek, and to knock. We've just done so confident that you will hear our prayers, consider our needs, and grant them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. During the preparation of gifts, we sing from the St. Michael hymnal, number 426, Alleluia, sing to Jesus, number 426.
Orate fratres ut meam ac vestrum sacrificium acetabile fiat apodeum patrem omnipotentem. Sugipia dominus sacrificium. Manibus tuis. Lord of gloriam. Deus qui nos per huius sacrificii veneranda commercia unius sume, sumeque divinitatis partic, part, participes Efecisti, presta quesumus ut sicut tuam cognovimus veritatem, sic eam dignis moribus asequamur, per Christum Dominum nostrum. Dominus vobiscum. Sursum corda. Gracias agamus Domino Deo nostro. Vere dignum et justum est equum et salutare te quidem Domine, omni tempere confitieri. Sed et hoc potissimum gloriosius predicare cum pasca nostrum immolatus est Christus, qui oblatione corpori sui, antiqua sacrificia in crucis veritate perfecit, et se ipsum tibi pro nostra salute commendans, idem sacerdos altare et agnus exibu, exibuit, qua propter, Profusis pascalibus gaudiis, totus in orbe terrarum mundus exultat, sedet superne virtutes atque angelice potestates, hymnum gloriae tue continunt sine fine dicentes. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus. Dominus Deus Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, vivit in nomine Domine, Hosanna Tegi ter clementissime pater per Jesum Christum filium tuum dominum nostrum supices rogamus ac petimus utia cepta habeas et benedicas hec dona hec munera hec sancta sacrificia ilibata in primis quae tibi offerimus pro ecclesia tuis sancta catholica, quam pacificare, custodire, adinare, et regere digneris toto orbe terrarum, una cum famulo tuo Papa Nostro Francisco, et antistite Nostro Michaele, et omnibus ortodoxis adque catholicae, et apostolicae fide cultoribus. Memento Domine famulorum famulorum quetuarum et omnium circumstantium quorum tibi fides cognita est et nota devotio. Proquibus pro tibi offerimus, vel qui tibi offer, offerunt hoc sacrificium laudis. Prose suisque omnibus, pro redemptione animarum suarum, prospe salutis ed in columnitatis sue, tibique redunt vot, vota sua eterno Deo, vivo et vero. Comunicantes ed memoriam venerantes, in primis gloriose semper virginis Mariae, genetricis Dei et Domini nostri Jesu Christi, sede beati Iosef eiusdem virginis sponsi, 
Ed Beatorum Apostolorum Ac Martyrum Tuorum, Petri Pauli Andrei, Jacobi Ioannis Tome, Jacobi Filippi Bartolomei Matei, Simoni Set Tadei, Lini Cledi Clementi Sisti Cornel. I Cipria, Cipriani, Lorenzi I Crisogoni, Ioannis et Pauli, Cosmia Damiani, et omnium sanctorum tuorum, quod meritis precibus qui concedas, ut in omnibus protectionis tue muniamur auxilio. Hancigi tur blationem servitutis nostre, sede cuncte familiae tue, quesumus domine, ut pacatus acipias, diesque nostros in tua pace disponas. Ad que ab eterna damnatione nos eripi, et in electorum tuorum iube as grege numerari. Quam oblationem tu Deus in omnibus quesumus, benedictam ad scriptam ratam rationabilem, acetabilem que facere digneris, ut nobis corpus et sanguis, fia dilectissimi filii tui domini nostri Iesu Christi. Qui pridie, quam pater etur, acepit panem et sanctas ac venerabiles manus suas, Et elevati soculis in celum, ad te Deum patrem suum omnipotentem. Tibi gratias agens benedixit fregi dedique discipulis suis dicens. Acipite et manducate ex hoc omnes, hoc est enum corpus meum, quod pro vobis tradetur. Simili modo, postquam cenatum est. Acipiens et hunc preclarum calicem, in sanctas ac venerabiles manus suas, item tibi gratias agens benedictit, dedique discipulis suis dicens. Acipite et bibite ex eo omnes, hic est enum calic sanguinis mei, novi et eterni testamenti, qui provobis et promultis et fundetur in remissionem peccatorum, Hoc facite in meam commemorationem. Mysterium fidei. Mortem terra, siamus domine, et tua resurrectionem confitemur, donec venias. Undiem memores, domine, no servi tui. Sede plebs tuis sancta, ius dem Christi filii tui domini nostri. Tam beate passionis, nec non ad ab inferis resurrectionis, sede in celus gloriose ascensionis, offerimus preclare maestati tue, de tuis donis ac datis, hostiam puram, hostiam sanctam, hostiam immaculatam, panem sanctum vitae eterne, et calicem salutis perpetue. Supraque propitio ac sereno vultu, respicere digneris. Et accepta habere sicuti, accepta habere dignatus es. Munera pueri tui justi abel, et sacrificium patriarche nostri abrahe, et quod tibi obtulit sumus aceros tu us Melchizedek, sanctum sacrificium immaculatum hostiam. Supplices te rugamus omnipotens Deus, iu behec perferi per manus sancti angeli tui, in sublime altare tuum, in conspectu divinae maestatis tue, Ut quod quod ex hac altaris participatione sacra sanctum filii tui corpus et sanguinem sum serimus omni benedictione celestia et gratia repleamur. Memento etiam domine, famalorum famalorumque tuarum, qui nos precesserunt cum signo fidei et dormiunt in somno pacis. Ipsis domine et omnibus in Christo qui essensibus locum refrigerii lucis et pacis ut indulgeas deprecamur. Nobis quoque peccatoribus famulis tuis, de multitudine miserationem tuarum sperantibus, partem aliquam et societatem donari digneris, cum tuis sanctis apostolis et martiribus, cum Ioane, Stefano, Mattia, Barnaba, Ignazio, Alexandro, Marcelino, Petro, 
Felicitate perpetua Agatha Lucia Agnete Cecilia Anastasia et omnibus sanctis tuis intraquorum nos consortium. Non estimatur meriti sed venie, quesumus largitur admite, per Christum Dominum nostrum, per quem hec omnia domine, semper bona creas, sanctificas, vivificas, benedicis, et prestas nobis. Per ipsum et cum ipso et in ipso, est tibi Deo Patri omnipotenti, in unitate spiritu sancti, omnis honor et gloria, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Precepti salutaribus moniti et divina institutione formati, ademus dicere, Pater Noster, qui es in celis, sanctificio, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicur in celo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis hodie, et dimiti libera nos quesimus domine ab omnibus malis, da propitius pacem in diebos nostris, urope misericordia tue adiuti, imus semper libera, et ab omni perturbatione securi, expectantes beatum spem, et adventum salvatoris nostri Iesu Christi. Et gloria in se. Domine Iesu Christi, qui dixisti apostolis tuis, pacem relinquo vobis, pacem mea vobis, ne respicias peccata nostra, sed fidem ecclesiae tue, iamque secundum voluntatem tuam, pacificare et coadunare digneris, qui vivis et regnas in secula seculorum. Pax Domini sit semper vobiscum. Ece agnus Dei, ece qui toli peccata mundi, beati qui ad cenum agni vocati son. Domini non sundinus, ud entre subtectum meum, sed tantum dic verbo, et sanabitur anima meum. There's one additional change to the, the way the Eucharist will happen today, um, simply because it's First Communion. We will have a kneeler here in the front for the, first, uh, for the children to receive uh, for the first time. So we ask that everybody just please remain in your pews, except our little ones. Um, once they're done, the office servers will remove the kneeler, and the Eucharistic ministers will go back to their uh, normal stations.
Oremos. Popolo tuo quesimus domine ad esto propitius, et quem mysteriis celestibus imbuisti fac ad novitatem vitae devesti vetustate transire per Christum dominum nostrum. Please help by cleaning the pews where you have been sitting. Cleaning supplies are in the back. Mother's Day is next Sunday. <laughs> well, that snuck up. Our Mother's Day Novena cards are available at the entrances to the church. Donations for the Novena may be dropped off at the parish office. Please see the bulletin for details. First Sunday devotions will be today at 3 o'clock p.m. in the church. And I'd like to take just a brief moment. Do we have our... Um, our speaker, she is here. Okay. Um, so we have a, um, a group yesterday or last week, you heard from a group called Stabat Mater, which is uh, a group of young men that's, uh, that, that uh, uh, seek to follow Christ and, uh, and, and they have programs and things to help Hispanic youth in the area. Uh, they have a sister group. Uh, and so they are here to talk today. And so I'd like to introduce uh, our, our speaker today to talk a little bit about the group School for Leadership. Thank you, Father. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. My name is Brianna, and I am a member of School of Leadership for Youth, a group dedicated to work for the religious and humanly information of Hispanic adults and girls in our diocese. The purpose of our visit today is to inform you that we have a Catholic store located in Manassas, where you will find a variety of items to help you grow in our Catholic faith. We also would like to ask for your financial and spiritual support in order to continue with our work. We have a table outside of the parish with spiritual books and religious images for sale. We take this opportunity to kindly invite you to visit our Catholic store in Manassas, Virginia. You will receive a flyer with information at the end of mass. May you all receive many blessings. Thank you for your support. Thank you, Brianna. Be assured of our prayers and uh, thank you for, for, for speaking. Dominus vobiscum. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, pater et filius et spiritus sanctus, ite misa est. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Hail Mary, 
full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Andrew the Apostle, St. Joseph, St. Athanasius, pray for us. We join together to sing the closing procession from the St. Michael hymnal, number 601, Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee, number 601. We will sing stanzas one, three, and four. Thank you. 